Hey everybody, we're here with Luke. We're about to go live in a little while. Of course, that will have already happened by the time you get to watch this. Yes, it's kind of one of those back to the future kind of things. It's yeah. happening, but it's happened, but it's going to happen, but it's already happened. Exactly. So in a couple of minutes, we're going to switch cameras because at the moment we're on the Sony. We've got to switch over to Luke's uh, iPhone. Now we use Luke's because Luke's got an i6. Uh, six. Uh, 6S, yes. 6S, and I've only got a 5C. So a slightly better camera. So we use Luke's uh, phone for the live broadcast. And uh, in the live broadcast, we'll I'll quickly go through it again. What we're going to do. You know, oh no, what are we going to do in the live broadcast? So we're going to do, do that oh, one. Yeah. We're going to do the. Them. Smith's bigger Farmer's Tasty cheese stuff. Gobble, uh, go, uh, with the gobble dock. Yeah, so they've been around um, for a while, and I hope they're still around. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure they are. Haven't missed the boat, I hope. But well, anyway, well, and we're well, going to wash it down with this one. Put way up there. Yeah. This is there's something different. Nescafe Gold Intense Espresso. Whoa. Yeah, so we're we'll just we're going to check out how intense it is. I've never seen it before. Um, so. As in many of you would be aware, I do check out iced coffees on the main channel. Yeah. There are lots of videos about iced coffee. Right. So this is another one, so we're going to include it in the live show with that. And then we're going look, to look forward to that coming up. Already <laughs> already happened. Already done. <coughs> then we'll do all these Kit Kats, which I've shown you before on the vlog channel. So we're actually going to get to do them finally. And you'll notice, because I've got a few uh, comments about how the dark is available in the UK. Oh, yes. And maybe already in other places as well. But uh, I don't know how long it's been out here. And so, it, so whether it's a special edition in regard to the sort of dark that it is, I don't know. Where it's come from, the Ecuador Cote yeah. uh, What's that word? Cote d'Ivoire. D'Ivoire. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Tiramisu and raspberry cheesecake. So, and they're both new. This one's special edition. No, I'm already flagging. I, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, and I'm not. I'm also not a big fan of tiramisu. Yeah. So yep. This could be interesting. Yeah. So, and and I don't know what you reckon, but I reckon Kit Kat flavor in general, like if you just had the base model. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I reckon that it's not as good as what it used to be. Oh, controversy. Yeah. Oh, so might, see. Yeah. Oh, the, the only one I'll probably like is the, the one at the front. But um, I'm a bit of a purist. Okay, just for the... I just like things normal. But if it's changed, the normal thing's yeah. changed. The yeah. whole Kit Kat world's falling apart. It's, it's breaking into little fingers. <laughs> That's right. So, and then we're going to do the M&Ms, which is a, a thing at the moment. It's a bit to discuss about them, where they're made. Because uh, there's a whole thing on Facebook about these being made in China. That seems wrong. M&M's made in China. Yeah, so I don't know if that's true or not, but... We'll we will get to the bottom we'll, of it, or we'll, either that, we'll sit on we'll, our bottoms while we discuss it. We'll just talk about it and see what happens. And then, the, and then there's these. And there's been a lot of talk about these on um, social media. You can't about, say no, Doritos? Yeah, well, you can't say no... CCs. CCs. <laughs> Doesn't the CCs exist still? Doritos, I think they become Doritos. I, no, oh, I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I think the CCs are Australians, like Sandboy. Isn't there a Dolmio and an Allegro and a, <laughs> everything changes? So they're they're all coming up, although the live's been already been seen. So, so we'll see you soon, and then later, and then later. And then the other thing is that I have switched from Spreadshirt to Redbubble. None. Of, so this is all Spreadshirt stuff. That's the old stuff. That's saying. the old stuff. Right. This is how things used to be. So th this is the past. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> fu the future is red bubble. But yeah. look, they don't do caps. And yeah. I've sent them emails. And so I might still have to get the cap from Spreadshirt. Because people have asked me for right. caps. I, I, have, I get maybe a request every month, which is okay. not huge. But yeah. people saying, where can I get the Gojo cap? And I tell them, well, Spreadshirt, but good luck trying to get one, because it's just they're hopeless. As far as a shop, <laughs> as far as a shop to sell stuff, 
from my point of view, they're hopeless. Right, there's an the endorsement. Doesn't work. Okay. Doesn't work. So, so I've switched to Redbubble, and I believe if people are really desperate to get a cap, then I'll get them, because I can get them easily. But for other people to go to the shop and try and buy them, oh, it's, it's just disaster. a mess. It just yeah. doesn't, won't happen. I can tell you now it won't happen. It's pointless. Right. It's a pointless exercise, unfortunately. So I've gone to Redbubble where it's all much more, everything's easier to do. Oh, well, maybe they'll eventually, uh, yeah. they'll uh, widen their spreadsheet. <laughs> exactly. And uh, yeah, Redbubble will have a, a cap. Yeah, and spreadsheets in the US, so you've got to, put, if, because most of my audience is Australia, like 50% yes. is Australia, uh, they've got to pay, whoever orders anything has got to pay postage, overseas, oh, international rates, yes. postage. Redbubble, <coughs> Redbubble is Australian, so for that 50% of the audience, there's very small charge on postage. Okay. So even though I think their stuff is slightly more expensive, that our postage will even that out. Well, I think for kind of specialty stuff, people yeah. don't mind spending a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I think T-shirts around thirty dollars, twenty nine dollars, I think for a T-shirt. Okay. So, and it'll be basically this with a square. I've got this and totally oh, yummy, totally like yummy. the big T-shirt I've got, which was also from Spreadshirt, but a square, a red square, totally yummy, diagonally across Gojo, nice. with a square around it. They are now on Redbubble. Cool. Um, so, and the other thing is that I haven't heard about my job application yet. I will maybe here today, today being Friday. And we'll so see. that's something that we'll, you'll know about in the pure future. Not you won't. Yeah, in the pure future. Yeah. yeah, the real future. Yes, not just it's already happened. So in the meantime, we're about to go live. I've sent a message out on Facebook that we'll be going live at around 10.45. So in 15 minutes. Not long. So that's that. So anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you all again soon. Uh -huh.